Dark Squad, how are we doing, everybody? We doing good? Like it. Guess what's back online? Yes. Yes, indeed. You may have saw the news. I just hopped on YouTube and saw Ren's post, and the sick boy has been released by YouTube to be back online. So, while it's up, because uh, he even said he doesn't know if it's going to last. So, while it's up, we're going to react to it for the first time. I've been wanting to do this, but it was taken off. Without further ado, let's do this. Ladies and gentlemen, you see the title. You know what time it is. We have Ren, Sick Boy. Let's go. Me. Looking at your file here, it seems there's a very apparent interplay with your emotional state and your physical body. Have you ever heard of the trauma response? I don't think so. Basically, our bodies can get stuck in a negative feedback loop. Our subconscious can repeat patterns from the past, which can have a pretty drastic downstream effect on our biology. Essentially, your mind is meant to be so. This is deep. Jesus Christ. Jesus. For that fix boy and the boy like steroids them so post a boy pass out white noise quick fix make oil i'm about to break boy oh what a shame he's in pain have another go take another pill here take a couple more let's see how you're doing in another week or so you'll be feeling worse when the side effects will show derealization medical patient losing patience with the process walking hand in hand with satan complications with the medication inflammation dehydration inhalation aggravation building up a toleration drown soccer drown soccer drown soccer drown i've been feeling like i'm drowning with my feet upon the ground i've been screaming i've been shouting but i never make a sound for a way out but i always seem to drown is this all making sense Ren? um yeah i think so good Dude, this is so deep because there are thousands if not millions of people who have been effed over by the medical community like because they it's like they don't want to deal with you anymore just take a pill and then you get addicted to those pills and then you can't live without them and then they they take over your life and then there's some people who have taken themselves out because of it or have passed away because of the pills. Man, like I know when I was younger, like being you know, hyperactive, it was take this, take this, take this. And I hated, I hated the way it made me feel. So when I got to a point in my life where I, I had a choice, I stopped. And I, do, I felt so weird for a while. And then I started like to see differently. Bro, it, this song is so deep. I see why in his video, when he did the uh, talking about Cujo and why this song meant so much to him. Dude, this is deep. Way out, but I always seem to drown. Is this all making sense, Ren? Um, yeah, I think so. Good. What I propose we do is we try to pinpoint the exact experiences from the past that are keeping you stuck. What can you tell me about your childhood? I can't really think. It's okay if nothing comes up right away. What I'd like you to do is take some deep breaths with me. In and out. Tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. I feel like it's not me. It's the world that's it. We're given everything we need and we commoditize it. We consume, we destroy like we're parasitic. Science tells us that it's suicide and still we come in. I'm not sick. We are sick. We are standing on a cliff in the name of progress. We jump off the precipice. I'm not sick. I'm the virus. You're the virus, hypocrite. How can you sit there with a smile on and tell me that I'm sick? Sick boy, sick boy, looking for a fix boy. Push it down in public, quick pose for the pick boy. Record label meetings that come on the Gift boy, why are you so upset? Don't you wanna be a rich boy? Fuck no, industry is cutthroat. I've been doing bits by myself, swimming backstroke, walking on a tightrope, rapping with a slip throw. The way that we persist is like the ending of a bad joke. As the people evolve, we're complacent to assailants and we do what we told. Counterintelligence is like a whole. Rape the earth of all resources and we bleed it for gold. And we bleed it for wealth, we bleed it for fame. But when you bleed it, can you tell me what the fuck will remain? Dude. 
Dude, let's talk about it. Dude, holy crap. That was like, I, that's probably, honestly, like, when it comes to Ren so far, that is, like, one of, like, that's probably my favorite song. Like, I, I love, like, I, I can't even choose a song by him, dude, because they're, they're all so relatable on so many different, every song has a relatable, per, like, topic to it, and I relate to it so much, as y'all, as y'all know. But this one, bro, this one was deep, man. Like, I've, be, I've been there. I mean, not as bad as he, as, not as bad as Ren has been in that position. But I know what it was like. Like, my daughter was going through it, where she, where, where she was at. Telling her she needs to take all these pills and, all, and, like, and everything because of her hyperactive and, you know, or her being ADHD. And they're like, you need to take this. And I asked my daughter the ultimate question. I was like, do you want to be on this medication? And the same thing I said as a child, she said, no, dad, I do not like the way it makes me feel. I feel like a zombie. I said, that's all you had to say. And there's so many people out there and children who are getting medicated that don't need to be medicated. And then it takes over their lives, man. And then their parents wonder when their kids get older why they're addicted to pills. Dude, I loved this. I loved every second of this. Ladies and gentlemen, if you'd like the video, be sure to like the video. If you're new here and you like the vibe, consider subscribing. Turning on those post notifications so you know when I upload another video. And as always, you matter. You belong. You are worthwhile. Do not let anybody tell you any different. Peace and love. And I will catch you on the next one.